Welcome to the online classes from Dhaka Secondary School, North Karachi Campus. Assalamu alaikum students of class 8 in the online class of social studies. We are studying chapter number 2, the earth and I am your teacher Ms. Uzma. Topics we are going to study is main uses of ocean and in this we will study about food, whaling, seawards, minerals and energy in the oceans food they are source of food only 60 percent of the fish caught is used by human beings the other 40 percent is recycled for fish meal or fertilizers in some areas especially the atlantic coastal waters there is severe problems of overfishing with smaller boats catching and breeding were kept more or less in balance. Now with huge fishing ships fitted with electronic equipments for tracking shoals of fish and sophisticated nets often many kilometers which the fish can breed. The European government have forced a ban for breeding some fish to be caught at all and the boards have strict cuts of how many of other type they can catch this has fishing uneconomic for many fishermen they are forced by law to fish say only three days a week fish prices in the shops have of course rocketed There are two solutions. Number A, to go to deeper waters where new varieties of deep sea fish live. Many of these are unfamiliar and have to be disguised under fancy names or number B, fish farming. Deep intel inlets in the sea are sealed off by nets as if it were a gigantic cage and fish inside are bred on farming lines. They are fed with concentrated food to make them grow more quickly and taste of nothing but when huge numbers are concentrated in the compact area there is a constant battle against diseases antibiotics are put in the water which the fish absorb as do the people who eat them only a few species of fish will respond to farming like this notably Salmon, which two decades ago was one of the most expensive fish available and is now one of the cheapest. Fish farming In Europe, salmon are farmed on a huge scale. Fast cages are in charge of the cost and billions of young salmons put into them. Where it is suitable, inlets of the sea are shut off with netting and fish rear inside these natural cages, as with animals on land, shoals of fish in, in close confine, confinement get all kinds of unnatural pests and diseases and need constant treatment with chemicals in the water to keep them healthy. In Pakistan, there have been efforts to set up fish farms for trout a fresh water fish in the northern region. Well, in the past, the number of whales which could be caught with hand thrown spears harpoons was limited. Today, with explosive harpoons fired from guns, whales can be slaughtered in vast numbers. The UN has had a ban fishing of most species of whales, but Japan and Norway, where whale meat is highly sought after, at first defied the ban and then, under immense preserve, were forced to limit their catch to a few hundred a year for scientific purposes. This is very suspect, and the two countries have said that they will defy the International Whaling Commis Commission ban and resume unlimited catching. Seaweeds 
It is surprising that more use has not been made of seaweeds, some of which can be excellent food and are also eaten by some people living near the coast. The resources are limitless and perhaps in the further earth, sea will be formed for vegetation as well as fish. Iodine from the sea is vital for human health as its deficiency causes the thyroid related problems. Minerals Minerals are not produ uh, products of the sea but on, on some occasions their source is under the water. The most expensive and oil well under the sea cost about 10 times as much as on land. Even in shallow coastal waters as these sources are beginning to run out, the rigs have to search in deeper and deeper waters with a consequent rapid increase in cost. There is also the question of vulnerability in where the offshore rigs would be easy target for many turbo, uh, submarines or fast surface ports. Life on the rigs is stored and dangerous, but the wages are a normal null of often rupees 40,000, 80,000 a week. Refer to the photographs of the troll oil petrol, petrol form in the North Sea. People working there are flown in by helicopter from the mainland and back again. Energy in the Oceans Tidal power in a few places where there is a very high rise and fall in tide inlets have been blocked off by a wall into which are set turbines and dynamos. As the tide rushes in, it turns the turbines and generates power. At high tide, the inlets are blocked off, forming a lack. When the tide falls, these inlets are open and the water rushes out running the turbines again. But there are very few places in the world where the rise and fall of the water makes this a practical system. Various methods of trying to harness the waves, a huge row of gigantic floating ranks, tanks is connected by lever and gearing the dynamos so that as the Boyers rise and fall the dynamos turn. This is not satisfactory though there are a number of other methods but nothing yet produce enough energy to be worth putting into serious operation. Weathering and its main causes eventually in millions of years if it is still survives the earth may well become flat as the mountains are worn down and the oceans filled with the debris. This is the result of weathering and erosion by national causes, wind, water and temperature. Water has purely mechanical means of breaking down rocks such as streams washing away the banks and bats, waves pounding the coasts, eroding cliffs, etc. The questions are in front of you. Do them carefully. Thank you.